morning, ninjas. Good morning. Look at all those freaking scabbers. Good morning. I am here pulling up at the dealership, one of the local dealerships here. You know, ninjas, how it is when you're at the dealership. You always look at some other things. You end up walking out with something more than you originally planned. But what do you do, right? What do you do when there's just so much cool things to always look at the dealership? Good morning. Anyway, ignore the scabbers. I might walk by there and show you what they got out front, but just just because of you, some of you ninjas are still scab fans. Whatever, whatever. Dust. Good morning. We're gonna go knock out that tree that's down. Cut it up, chop it up, get it organized, get it ready for pickup. Whether we end up hauling it off or not. And uh, so I'm gonna do that for a few hours. Then I'm gonna go home because I am in the Dodge, as you can see. Then I'm gonna go home and get the trailer and go knock out a few yards. Scab, 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 scab. I, I do gotta say, the windstorms are pretty cool looking. I'm sure that will what well, that would come handy. <clears throat> Ninjas, I do not miss this. I do not miss this with the little nipples right here. Forget that mess. Yeah, no thanks. That's a cute little 36 right here. Used, used, abused. Oh, the turfy. Oh, look at the turfy ninjas. No. Scab, 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 scab. Scab. Just finished, of course. Semi truck just pulled up, I guess. And that's their new building over there, Ninja. So they keep all the mowers now and stuff inside that building instead of outside where it used to be always in the rain and stuff. So uh, that looks really sweet, really, really nice. But Anyway, I'm headed to the job. I'm actually running a little late. I told her I'd be there a little earlier than I am going to be, but what do you do? It's just chopping up a tree that's already down. And yes, yes, I bought something. I always buy something when I'm at the dealership. That's why I don't go to a lot of the dealerships. I don't like going there a lot, because if I do, I'm always gonna buy something. You wanna know what it is? Of course you do. Of course you do, ninjas! Stay tuned. Whoop -a you ninjas remember this yard? They just cleared up a huge tree that was on top of this shed. So, and then look at the uh, look at the front, the back over here. Well, it's the front of the house, but the back of the truck. That's what I'm going to be clearing up is that tree that's down. I'll show it to you when I get up. But what the the, the devastation, man. The devastation is surreal. So I just went through an area that is nothing compared to what I showed you on Wednesday. So on my way back home, I'm going to go through that same area and I'm going to show you. I want to talk about devastation. It's devastating. Customer advised me to put it by the road. They, they don't want to haul off. They'll have someone else haul it off. And uh, so, but tomorrow I'll be back with Jazzy James. We're going to take care of that limb. I could probably do it, no problem. It's not over a house or anything like that. It's a straight shot down, but I'd rather have a second person with me. So they were real happy. They were like, wow, are you OCD, Nick? I'm like, maybe, sort of. Yeah, not really. Why? She said, you really organized that really well. I said, I organized my wood really well. And look at the power lines, ninjas. Look at that. The power lines are like right there. This is so dangerous. All these houses. Absolutely terrible.
trailer park right here is like there's a huge tree on that trailer. Look at that. It's so bad that it's actually, the whole area is almost unrecognizable. Power lines are so low, a truck couldn't get through here. Like a heavy duty truck. This is absolutely devastating. Devastating. Amazing how everything can just turn out like this overnight. The power, the wind, it's just insane. I'm, I don't know what else to say. I'm speechless. It's gonna get worse down here. I mean, trees are down everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. This is exactly the reason why, ninjas, I don't like to have a lot of trees around my house. Look at that. I just don't like to have a lot of trees around my house. This is exactly why. You just never know when something like this can happen. I mean, look, at this, this whole road is unrecognizable. Look at that. People are writing on their houses. Unbelievable. So I don't know how far I can go down here because I, I I turned that way on the right. So this is new to me right here. Look at this. There was a Husqvarna dealership and an Exmark dealership right up here on the left. I wonder if it survived, but I highly doubt it. Look at all these trees and look at that. Look at that house, ninjas. The roof is gone. Here's the dealership. It did not survive, ninjas. That is the Husqvarna. They have all kinds of motors. 24 hour armed security. It did not survive. That metal building did not survive at all. Oh my gosh, the gas station was right there. It's completely gone. There is a BP gas station or Mapco where that semi truck is. It's completely gone. That house is gone. Oh my goodness. The power of the almighty ninjas. And it's so funny to me how like one side of the street, houses are completely destroyed and the other side, there's some homes that are very minimum damage, if any. It's just funny how that is with how wind travels. Look at this tree. Man. This whole neighborhood over here on the left, look at that. Wow. I tell you what, the insurance companies sure have their hands full now. That's for sure. So I'm back home, ninjas, but I wanted to show you quickly so what I got and kind of 
give you an update of things. So this is my old one. It is the CS361 right there. And this bar is actually the original bar. It's, it's not a chainsaw that gets used on a daily basis, but now I've had it for a couple of years and uh, I think it's time to change this bar. So one of the importance of changing this bar every so often, it really depends on the usage. So if, if you're a tree cutting person and that's what you do full time, you're gonna go through a lot more of these. But uh, if you're someone like me, who's mostly focusing on uh, lawn care, landscaping and whatnot, and then I occasionally tackle some tree jobs of my own, but I do have a tree crew that actually takes care of all the bigger trees and things of that nature that I'm not comfortable with. Um, then, you know, you're not going to go as through a bar as often. You'll still go through a chain. Chain really can last you a long period of time. Of course, you need to sharpen it uh, and you can sharpen them as often and it'll save you a little bit of money, but eventually you'll have to change the chain. So this is an old chain. I have sharpened this with uh, several times prior and then I think the last time I sharpened it was with Jazzy but uh, so anyway I ended up getting a new bar so that way it'll take care of that uh, this is a 16 inch or so 16 inch or ninjas so I got a new chain even though I think I have a one new one left in tiny so I ended up getting another one and then this is the 18 inch chain to my new echo that I just used at that last tree job so I wanted to get a little bit of a bigger echo chainsaw just because some of those logs were really heavy and really big and when I was cutting the tree that was down yesterday with this one even Jazzy saw it um, it was struggling and his chainsaw is struggling too. the uh, steel uh, I think he's getting a new chainsaw as well here soon from what I remember him saying anyway but this is the new CS 501 P so this is the 501 and this is the 361 and the biggest difference between the two of course a little bit bigger and all that but is the power so this is a 35 I think CC and this is a 50 okay so there's a big difference there um, I ended up getting a new air filter but they didn't have it in stock so I went ahead and paid for it and uh, he told me he'd call me when it uh, shows up and I'll go pick it up I think I'll pick it up when I go and pick up another piece of equipment that I've already told them I'm gonna go ahead and get so anyway as you can see just with one use the chains already come loose so I will be tightening that super simple to tighten these chains is you loosen these two bolts right here and then you use a screwdriver and there's the tensioner right there and you just tighten it you can see that's pretty loose actually What's really cool that's new that they have changed that uh, the dealership pointed out to me if you look at these two bolts You see how they're on a spring basically some sort right there behind it So that means you don't you don't have to loosen them all the way and I don't know if you can or not But you don't have to uh, so that way you never lose these nuts These nuts so you don't lose them <laughs> You just they stay on there and uh so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool because honestly, it's very easy to lose your nuts when it comes to working around chainsaws. One of the biggest things you gotta watch out when you are replacing the bar and also just if you're putting a new chain is just make sure you put the chain on correctly. I've seen many times, and it's happened to me a few times in the past, uh, but I've seen it by other guys as well. They put the chain on backwards and then you find out when you go get ready to cut the tree and then you have to stop what you're doing and fix it but the easiest way to do this ninjas is basically you take the new chain you stretch it out and you line it up exactly with this one looking at real closely at the little cuts and then you you know lay it out and then that way you know that's the way it goes so i uh loosen these nut bolts nuts these nuts like crazy one main point I forgot the reason how important it is to replace these uh, bars is because over time they have a tendency to warp and if you have a warped bar it's not good for your chain you're more likely to snap the chain uh, break the chain whatever or at least uh, it'll go dull a lot quicker and not to mention it'll get hot and sometimes ninjas you'll have one side getting more wear than the other side 
And I don't know how many of you knew this or not. You can actually flip this bar. If you're getting more wear on one side, you can flip it because it's an even side. It's not nothing, you know, where one side is different than the other. And that way you will continue to get the maximum life out of these bars. So just a, just a quick little tip. Here we go. And I do like to wipe things down a little bit. Not like it's not going to get dirty the first time you use it, but um, mainly just focus on if you've got like big chunks in here or something that's been stuck. But yeah, I just like to wipe it down a little. Okay, now that that's done, we put the new bar on. Look at that, already sharp looking. Wapacha! And that's the old chain. And this is the new chain. And so what I do is I basically just line them up like that. Now this old chain probably still has some life in it if I sharpened it. So I don't necessarily throw them right away, you know, into the garbage. I try to keep them and sharpen them. But I have already sharpened this one several times and it's just time to go. When you're putting a new chain on, basically really focus, make sure your teeth catch down here at the bottom and then just line up and then stretch the blade out, the bar. And then you just line it up, make sure they sit in there correctly, like that. And there you go. Now all you gotta do is put this cap over. Remember, don't tighten these two bolts down all the way until you tighten your chain. And then once you get that chain to the spec that you want, you don't want it too tight, but you don't obviously want it like this. This is too loose and it could fall off. Once you tighten the chain, then you tighten these nuts. And there you go. All done. Pretty simple. And of course, check your fuel filter, air filter, and your spark plug. Again, really depends on how often do you use it. But uh, let's start her up right over here and see how she does. Sometimes, ninjas, after you turn it on and test it just like the way I just did, your chain will come loose again. And basically what I call it is it stretched its legs. So that means now it's fully set in there in place. And now you just got to retighten it again. And once you retighten it one more time, you shouldn't have to mess with it again until you are at a job site and then you're cutting for a while these chains will come loose but that's just part of it so as i was heading this way i actually hit a really big bump on the road it was like the side of the road was cracked and it fell off so there's like a big chunk just missing and my tire on that side just ran over it and i mean the trailer just went like that <clears throat> and i just replaced this um bolt because it had cracked on me, I think last week. And I put a new one, but after hitting that bump, as you can see, it broke off. So now this is wiggling really bad. So when I get home, I'm gonna have to put another bolt. In the meantime, I took the top trimmer off. I put it in the bed of the truck, just so that way, I'm sorry for the wind and just, just so that way it doesn't really shake super crazy as i'm driving down the road have a great weekend see you tomorrow of course freaky friday is a wrap but sneaky saturday always something sneaky on saturday ninjas mm -hmm. peace